like some days are good some days are bad some days are long some days are short some days you just want it to be the next day you know and there's no right way or wrong way to feel I feel like I'm not entertaining enough Ireland is popping off at the moment and my room is like a scene out of a bug's life uh, you might notice something different about me morning happy monday welcome back to a new week a new vlog hi <laughs> i just got up and i'm just taking out the tarmars heatless heartless waves out of my hair because i'm gonna try and not use heat this week i was gonna say next week but it's my birthday so i might it's my birthday oh my god it's my birthday next week but not this week so that's not this vlog but yeah these are the heartless waves just fresh out of the oven don't they look cute like you know i think they do good morning happy monday it is a beautiful day the weather is actually supposed to be fab for the next few days so there we go there's a little pan of my neighborhood isn't it cute i love how i can see the mountains from my bedroom it just really relaxes me how are we i slept in this morning because i felt like i deserved it and east post easter egg sleep in yesterday was easter sunday got my easter egg ate my easter egg then it's over i am definitely <laughs> swollen this morning um my face is always swollen in the mornings like when i first wake up before i drink any water um but yes i got a kinder easter egg and i ate it it's like kinder chocolate best egg ever i got a bunny as well a lint bunny but i didn't eat that no one cares um but yes so i'm gonna get up now or i am up now and i'm gonna go downstairs get my water and get ready and just start my day off with my kiki workout because that's how i like to start my day today is legs so i'm excited and uh yeah i'm really impressed with the heatless waves vibes so i'll link her um tara has an igtv video on how she does it it's really easy and it's great if you don't want to use heat on your hair i actually ordered a hair mask there at like friday night at, like half in the morning so that should be here sometime this week so that's exciting and yeah happy monday happy tuesday to you uh, you might notice something different about me I decided to switch it up during quarantine the only way I know how and change my eye color if you have followed me for a while on like Instagram and stuff ever since I was like 15 or 16 I wore brown contacts like religiously like I wore brown contacts a lot I tried green I tried blue because basically I'm blind I'm minus 5.5 which if you wear glasses you will know basically when I take these out I can't see anything so like my blue eyes are like my natural eye color the color i usually have but i hadn't worn brown eye contacts since like when i moved to australia but during quarantine i was like well i can't get my hair done can't leave the house so might as well switch up to the brown eyes again so we're back with the brown eyes anyway i got a delivery this morning and again something i ordered um a lot of PR companies are working from home and stuff the morning at the moment so PR is slow but that's fine so I've never ordered anything from this company before I basically found them online or on Instagram there we go so this is the little business card I came with which I thought was very cute and basically what I ordered is it came in this lovely like marble packaging gorgeous and basically what I ordered is this little contraption. So what this is, is a layered necklace separator. So I don't know, have you heard me complain multiple times about my necklaces always tangling where when I wear multiple necklaces. So this stops that from happening. What a genius invention. I saw a girl on TikTok say she bought one of these on Amazon, but I didn't want to buy an Amazon one because then it would like get tarnished. So hopefully this doesn't. So I'm gonna test it out. But yeah, it was only like 10 euro or something. It is Tuesday and I need to film a YouTube video. So I put it on my Instagram story. And I know like 
I know a lot of people maybe who are subscribed to me on YouTube might follow me on Instagram but I think Instagram stories are a good way to like get feedback and do little polls and stuff so that's why I use them but I put a poll on my Instagram story of what should my Wednesday video be so I was like should it be a deep dive into birth charts which I will be doing anyway or 25 juicy questions because I'm 26 next week ah! It's my birthday on Wednesday. You're watching this Sunday. My birthday's Wednesday. Very exciting. So I wanted to do 25 juicy questions. So I've asked everyone on Instagram to send me juicy questions. I have got quite a few. I think I've got 10, so I need 15 more before I can start filming. But so funny, like over 100 people voted that they want the ju juicy questions video, but like I have 10 juicy questions. Like where are the other 90 people and why aren't they asking me their juicy questions? Oh my god, it's Bally Maloo Relish. Ha! I just had breakfast and I... Oh my god, why didn't I notice that was there? Anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready now to film. I'm gonna have a shower. Put on like a little bit of makeup. Nothing major. Okay, so my camera's dead and it's like 11 o'clock at night and I've had a really weird day. Uh, so excuse the phone vlogging, the hair, my general appearance. Um... But I stupidly, stupidly, idiotically, like idiotically, left my bedroom window wide open with my ring light on, my ring light, um, when I left my room earlier and I haven't been back up to my room since. And my room is like a scene out of a bug's life. That's all the only way I can explain it. There's like tiny, little bugs everywhere so i'm going around my room with don't come for me but i'm going around my room with my disinfectant spray and just spraying them all there was a wasp somewhere and i sprayed him so he was like buzzing around the place and every now and then i hear a buzz but then it stops so that's great we love that for me clearly cannot go to sleep until I find the exact whereabout of the wasp. Um, my room is an absolute tip because I filmed today. I filmed a very bad gas video. I'm actually gonna sit in my bed and tell you. So I filmed today. I filmed a say it or shot it challenge. If you don't know what that is and if you haven't seen the video by now, because it will be up by now, um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I filmed a say it or shot it YouTube video. So basically I got people on Instagram to ask me outrageous questions. Sorry, I'm actually gonna have to find him while I'm vlogging. Ah, I found him. Ah, ah, he's over by the sink. Shit. So basically that just means people, I got people on Instagram to ask me outrageous questions and uh, I either had to answer the question or take a shot. So I ended up doing about seven or eight shots of both Captain Morgan and Jameson whiskey. And uh, yeah, I'll link the video down below if you haven't seen it, but I'd say it'll be quite funny. I'm gonna edit it now tomorrow and put it up tomorrow. But, uh, sorry, but yeah, so I filmed that today. And it was very hilarious getting drunk by yourself filming a YouTube video at three o'clock, two, four o'clock on a Tuesday, but did I? We continue to move. Oh God, he's in there somewhere, like he's in the bathroom. See if I could get in and open the window, but like, what are the odds he's actually gonna fly off the window, you know? Good morning, happy Wednesday, how are we? I'm so excited, lad. Look, look at my breakfast. <laughs> So I have my breakfast here. I have my video that I'm about to edit here. My monster there. Did my Kiki Fit workout today? 10th, 10th day in a row. Who is she? Also, I've taken a liking to mushrooms. Very strange one, but we're gonna go roll with it. No, that's not ketchup. I'm not a child. It's Ballymaloo relish. Turkey sausage, or no. Sorry, this is actually a veggie breakfast. Vegetarian sausages, egg, mushrooms, bagel, monster, editing. Let's go. 
I'll talk to you later. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I put live my Seder shout out video and like the amount of messages I'm getting on Instagram about it. The views are through the roof. Like it is in the first 45 minutes it has nearly 140 views and like that's not normal for my channel. Like my channel wouldn't get that many views the second the video goes live and like it's a stunning day so like you know it's not like it's lashing rain and no one has anything else to do but like look the weather sorry Ireland is popping off at the moment but yeah I was so nervous to put the video live just because I'd never done a video like that I was really exposing myself like there's a lot of tea in it if you haven't seen it already check it out it's gas but yeah, everyone's loving it. I'm delighted. I've told my parents not to watch it, but they said they want to anyway because they're supportive and don't care what I post online. Um, so yeah, I look like an absolute scruff, but to be honest, all I've done today is get up, work out, shower, and edit. Uh, so now I'm going to lie in the back garden, I think, or something, or decide what I want for dinner. And... Um, yeah, I'm actually buzzing and it's so funny because this day last week, if you watched last week's weekly vlog, was the day I was having like my mini breakdown. So like when I, when everything was just, like this day last week I felt so awful, like I was just having the worst day. So it's a real 360 moment, you know, life comes at you fast. Um, and also my birthday is this day next week, I'm 26. I haven't decided what I'm getting for my birthday, for myself yet. My parents asked me what I wanted and I gave them like a few suggestions, a few social hints. Also, update on the thing I got. Remember I showed you I got the thing that keeps from my necklaces from tangling? It full on works. Hold on, I'll show you now. So basically, hold on. With this necklace thing I bought, so my necklaces haven't been tangling at all, which is great. Um, I want to get another necklace to add to this because this thing takes three necklaces so uh, basically it looks like this so you don't even have to take all the necklaces off you can just like clip it on clip it off and it goes in like so and then my necklaces don't tangle at all which we love for me because I love the look of layered necklaces but they always feck and tangle and it was driving me demented and I was like no what is this sorcery how do I see all these girls wearing all these necklaces and they're not tangling and I know one trick is like wearing necklaces that are like different so like different textures so you'd wear like a really chunky necklace with a really skinny necklace but to be honest for me they were just still tangling whereas now they're not tangling at all so putting you on one gadget at a time happy wednesday evening so i've put on a face mask uh this is the dermalogica oily something i don't know i'll link it down below anyway by the way uh just a little psa everything i mention throughout the vlogs and throughout every video i upload i always link it in the description if i can find a link to it which obviously most of the time i can so yeah, just thought I'd tell you that. But yeah, this is, it's like a oily clearing mask or something. I know, I really like it. And I said I'd treat myself this evening to a face mask and then I did my hair. I put an oil mask in because I ordered a hair mask on Saturday night at one in the morning. And it still hasn't even been dispatched. So that's offensive. Uh, but so, because the mask I ordered is for like dry scalp uh, so it still hasn't been dispatched so I put in the oil mask that I usually put in and I just gave myself a lovely scalp massage because uh, I'm trying not to wash my hair until that mask comes in but I don't know when that will be so this is what we're working with I'm trying to keep my hair really healthy during quarantine and after because I wanted to grow loads trying to decide what to buy myself for my birthday. My birthday's in a week. And if you've ordered anything online recently, you know that everything online is taking ages to arrive. So I had the idea to get myself a plan. So I've been doing Kiki Fit, Kiki Nugent's live workouts every morning. 
Um, so I had the idea to do like a one-to-one -one training plan with her because I think she'd be a great coach and also her transformations that she does are insane. Like absolutely insane. So I emailed her about that. I haven't heard back from her yet. Totally normal. Um, obviously she's in Dubai, so they're ahead with time. Hello, hi, good morning. Not morning, not morning at all. It's like two o'clock in the day. Hey. So got up this morning, did my Kiki workout as per usual. I've been doing them for like nearly three weeks in a row now, I wanna say. I can't, I haven't been keeping track, but I haven't missed a day. And we love that for me. So I left you last night when I was trying to decide what to buy myself for my birthday and like every website I went on to the delivery is taking so long and I like got disheartened and I was like well I'm not going to order if I don't have it on time for my birthday. I still really want that uh, Sol de Janeiro uh, shower gel and body moisturiser but if I ordered it, it won't be here in time. But I might just order it anyway. I might order it on the day of my birthday so it's like buying myself a birthday present or I'm gonna see what my brothers, because I have two brothers and they probably don't know what to get me, say I could just send them a hint. I was also looking at rings. I want to get like a load of gold rings, um, like costume jewelry style, like not very expensive, but not cheap either. Like I don't want them to turn my finger green. Uh, so I was looking on Regal Rose and they have lovely stuff there and I was looking on a few other Boho Moon was another one at uh, the M Jewelers. I don't know I was looking on loads last night But I did order something for myself. So I ordered myself a pre-birthday present this morning. That's what I'm calling it So I ordered myself a Charlotte Tilbury's new serum. I'll put a picture here I got a press release about it maybe like a week and a half ago but it was embargoed, so I didn't want to talk about it. Embargoed basically means you can't talk about it. It's like top secret, but because you're in the press, aka beauty editor, a YouTuber, a social media influencer, um, I got an email about it. Sounds absolutely fab. Sorry there earlier now, Kate rang, and I never came back to you. But I was talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, but basically it's infused with like crystals which I love, like rose quartz and all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited to get it now and try it. I will probably do a 30 day situation on it. So if you have seen my original Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream video, I tried it for 30 days, said nothing online, nothing anywhere. And then after the 30 days, I came back and like did a full review. My skin looks great today. I did the Ordinary Mask, which is actually sold out online now because, well not because of this, but I just wrote my first beauty email. Remember a few weeks ago I said I was gonna do it and I didn't, but now I did. So that's great. So I'll just give you a sneak peek. It's not really a sneak peek because if you were subscribed, you would have seen it. So I, it's just really basic. Um, it's just an email basically that I wrote out. I have a little logo at the top because I thought that was cute. And then basically I just wrote about like what the email is gonna be about. And then I just did like, I just broke it down. If you want to subscribe to my email list, I will put a link down in my bio. Basically the whole idea behind the email list is that I want to like connect with people who either follow me on YouTube or subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, but like not on a deeper level, but on a more like chatty, well, I'm not really filtered anyway, but I just kind of, it's like a week email that I'm going to send out and this week was all about skincare. So I did like uh, my, I don't know, if you subscribe to emails, you'll know. But I wrote that, but in the email, I was talking about the Ordinary Peeling, AHA, BHA Peeling solution, the red stuff that I tried in last week's vlog. And uh, I went to go find a link to put it in the email, and it's totally sold out. Like every website I went down to, it was like sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. So I was like, Ooh. But yeah, I did that mask earlier, and my skin feels fabulous. And I'm very excited to get the Charlotte Tilbury Serum. I probably won't have it till next week though, um, which is fine. And also, I knew there was a reason I came on, lads. I've decided what I'm gonna bake tomorrow. 
for my sorry I can't stop looking at my skin in the viewfinder I'm fabulous but uh I decided what I'm gonna bake tomorrow for my baking video that's going live on Saturday I like to film it on Fridays I'm going to make Krispy Kreme donuts like the original glazed Krispy Kreme donuts and I'm so excited. So that's what I'm gonna make for tomorrow's baking video. So I'm very excited. Uh, it's Thursday evening, I'm kinda hungry, I haven't had dinner. Um, I also don't really wanna cook dinner. And I don't really know what I did this week. I feel like I'm not entertaining enough. Also, my new video is off the charts. Like, everyone obviously just loves a good bit of gossip and loves a good bit of drama and loves a good bit of someone exposing themselves for 31 minutes straight because let's just look at this here I haven't done this in a while so this is like the back end of YouTube kind of what I see so it has 905 views which is up 337 percent it the average view duration is kind of the same as always well it's up a little bit and then the watch time is up 396 percent and there's 24 comments like pop off and that's only in the first day which like if you look it's out of my last 10 videos in one day and one hour like 300 200 200 200 200 200 199 170 like do you know i don't know i'm hungry i don't want to cook dinner and i don't want to cook I don't want to cook and I also don't want to get takeaway life is so hard it is 10 past 9 and all I want to do is go to sleep but yeah it's full on still bright but I don't know I just today's been really long <laughs> it's so funny like some days in quarantine hold on now if I can put you here and we can just chat as opposed to yeah so some days in quarantine like feel normal and then other days see I think as well it's when I don't go for a walk or don't leave the house um and some people might be like oh you should like go for a walk blah, blah, blah. but I'm like yes I know I like I know we're allowed go for walks right but like I just kind of want to help the world in whatever way I can and like if I don't need to go for a walk, you know, maybe if I go every second day or every third day as opposed to every single day because I do live in town so it's not like I live in the middle of nowhere and I'd be seeing no one like, you know, you do see people and like, you know, you don't know how good or how bad you're being really, do you? It's just weird. It's just weird and I just thought, yeah. So today's just been a long day and not not a long day as in like anything bad's happened or like oh my god if it's such a long day just like I got up at nine did my kiki workout at ten which really sets me up for the day and I really enjoy it and then I was just doing bits like I ripped my beauty email which I'm really proud of myself for finally biting the bullet with that one I'm gonna do them probably every Thursday actually I like Thursday as a day to send out emails because my upload schedule has now changed so I feel like I've more time during the week and also I feel like I've more time to put effort into the videos I am filming which is fun but tomorrow I'm baking so tomorrow I'll go like and it's not like I'm wishing the days away either but it's just like you know yourself I suppose like quarantine like some days, but it's normal. Like this isn't normal, obviously what's going on. So like some days are good, some days are bad, some days are long, some days are short, some days you just want it to be the next day, you know? And there's no right way or wrong way to feel. Actually, do you know what I haven't done? Maybe that will make me feel better. <sighs> so this is, I've showed this multiple times. I actually need to order another one. Even though, no, I have half a bottle left, but I'd love, this came in a candle. Um, I've actually been searching scented candles online because I have no scented candles at the moment. Like when it was announced initially about this quarantine, why didn't I run to TK Maxx and buy like 10 candles, you know? And a lot of the scented candles I found online are like notionist prices. Like I'm not spending 30 euro on a candle, not right now when I'm 30 and I'm in my house with my dogs and like my 
fiance or husband and like, you know, then I'll be bougie and spend money on candles. But I just feel like I know I can get a good quality candle for like a tenner. So I'm not spending 30 euro on a candle. Like I'd rather spend it on skincare. I'm gonna look on Amazon now for scented candles, see what I can find. Cause I was just trying to find like cute Irish websites to like support local or whatever. And they were like 30 and 40 euro for like, like this is a big candle. So I'm just using this as like a holder for like my mirror. But anyway, this is like my most recent favorite candle and there's like a little bit left, but like not really. And this is by DW Home. They actually, I tagged it on Instagram one day, just like saying what it was and they like commented back to me and I was like, if you want to send me candles anytime, like, let me know and they just ghosted me then so clearly they don't want to send me candles but i will see online what kind of candles i can get and then we can do like a fun haul in a vlog yeah so i just feel like today is over you know and that is how i feel right now i've been i sent out my beauty email i have like 34 subscribers on my beauty email which I love. My beauty email, I just want it to be really fun, really lighthearted, really, like, it's basically gonna, the vibe of it that I want it to be is like your best friend send you an email with like her recommendations, but your best friend would never send you an email, so it's me. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow as well, I feel. But right now I'm just gonna cleanse my face, put on my night stuff and sit in bed and do some haunting for online scented candles. Cause then I saw Amber, Joe you know Amber from Love Island. She was actually showing her scented candle collection on her Instagram. And she's like, oh, I got all these in like anthropology. So I went on to anthropology. It's like 50 euro for a candle. Like me and Amber Gill are not making the same coin, unfortunately. I'd love if there was a Bath and Body Works in Ireland. So that's great, love that for me. I can't wait be able to just buy candles in TK Maxx again. Like, you have no idea. I'm probably gonna vlog my next trip to TK Maxx, like when this is all over, and oh my God, I'm gonna get like, go to TK Maxx and go wild. Oh, hello everyone, happy Friday. Hi, happy Friday. I'm just gonna close my window because there's some form of alarm going off. How are we doing? As you can tell, I feel a lot better than I did last night. It's amazing what a good night's sleep can do. And also then waking up and working out first thing. I was genuinely gonna stay in bed this morning. I got woke up and I was like, oh. It's like, oh, my bed's so cozy. Joan, you're like, my bed's so cozy. And it's not that I was tired because I feel like there's a difference waking up being like, oh my God, no, I'm, I'm still wrecked. Because then I feel like you should go back to sleep. But I was just like, oh, my bed's so cozy. And then I was like, Bricka, get up, get up. We're not breaking the workout streak today. And then I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, I'll do it later. And I was like, no, Rebecca, you have to film today. You have your donut Krispy Kreme video to film, which I'm very excited. Also, my hair is just out here growing. Um, but yeah, so I did my Kiki workout, went for a shower, washed the hair. Uh, my hair mask that I'm waiting on still hasn't arrived. So I just decided to wash my hair today and then I'll wash it again Tuesday because I want to have fresh air for my birthday. Um, but I just had to wash it today. I was like, there's no way I can leave this till like Tuesday to wash. Well, I could have, but I didn't want to. Good morning, I just did my skincare. I gave myself a little face massage that I saw on TikTok. So the face, ma the face massage, basically, I'm not gonna do it now because you have to do it when you've like an oil on your skin. So what I did is I put an oil on my skin, did it and then like did my normal skincare routine, like my cleansing and you know, whatever but you like rub up your face and like rub out and it just gets rid of any like water retention also i have misplaced my gua sha don't know where my gua sha is i'm not happy about it i don't know where it went like obviously when i was moving from my downstairs room to this room it just got lost somewhere but like i don't understand where it would get lost like it's a gua sha like where did it go so i don't know where that went so i'm gonna have to order another one because i miss my gua sha and i miss you know getting rid of the water retention because a lot of the time in my footage i look back especially in my baking videos 
but I think it's the camera angle. I always have like a double chin on my baking videos. And it's like, you know, I know I'm making high calorie food. You don't have to tell me by giving me a double chin. And I'm just gonna put on some body moisturizer. I'm using this one at the moment, which I'm not happy about. It's not good. It's the Garnier Dry and Rough Skin Coconut Milk Probiotic Extract Hydration Felt for seven days, right? It's lying. It is one of the worst body moisturizers I've ever used. I normally don't bash brands and I'm not bashing, but I just, it's don't, one of those moisturizers you just have, but you never use, it's that. But I might as well just moisturize anyway, cause I'm just out of the shower. And to be honest, I'm going to treat myself on the day of my birthday, I've decided. I'm gonna treat myself to that Sol, De Janeiro um, body moisturizer and the shower wash and I'm just gonna buy it and it's gonna be my birthday treat as if I haven't treated myself enough already I literally did an order yesterday on Charlotte Tilbury's website but I justified that by saying oh it's for a YouTube video like no Ricky you just wanted the serum so I've already bought that for myself <laughs> I have my rider wear do you know what this is all I'm just saying this is all my birthday presents for myself, like from myself to myself. If you don't buy yourself a birthday present, like even if it's just a card and a bunch of flowers, like get on that self love journey, you know? So my rider wear shorts are coming Tuesday. Um, My hair mask is probably coming someday next week. My shower Tilbury bits and then this. And I think that's a big enough birthday present for myself. Like I really want to buy myself rings though. Maybe I'll do that when like my YouTube channel like starts making full time earnings. I can treat myself that way, um, yeah. So that is my morning thoughts. Just gonna spray my calming mood mist. I was looking for scented candles online last night, lads. Nothing. Why are all scented candles 30 euro? Who can, someone just inform me, who thought charging 30 euro for a regular size, like this size? Like, I'm not talking about the massive giant candles. Who thought charging 30 euro for like a regular ass, plain ass candle was like a good idea? Like I, I'm genuinely curious, can someone please inform me? Because that is daylight robbery, like absolutely not. I'm used to spending, this was like 10 euro in TK Maxx, like big size candle. Yeah, 434 grams. So this is like a regular, like it's a big candle, like it's as big as my head, but it's not like a big candle. Like in TK Maxx, normally the candles that are like 15, 20, 30 euro are like giant. So that really upset me because I'm like, where am I getting my scented candles from? And then I was considering buying a diffuser. So you know the things that like diffuse essential oils, but I want, so I'd want a diffuser and I'd want it to diffuse like a lavender scent at night time and then something like energizing in the morning and then like something similar to this during the day. But I went down a hole last night on YouTube. Do, do you ever go down those YouTube holes? Are you in one right now? Am I part of your YouTube hole? But do you ever go down those YouTube holes where you end up watching those random videos and you're like, how and why did I get here? So I started watching loads of videos last night about perfumes. Oh my God, that's so sad. I thought I had way more left. So this is my current scent. It's the Ariana Grande, wait now, the people, oh, I sprayed that on my face. The people in the video said, when you're spraying perfume to like, oh shit, I didn't mean to bring it, put it on my chest. It sometimes makes me break out, but anyway. Um, sensitive ass gal. Yeah, they were saying to keep the scents here because when you walk past someone, it's like, this is what you, like there's no point putting it on your wrist is basically what they were saying. And uh, yeah, I wanna I wanna get new perfume. I wanna try the Kayali one. The KKW perfumes are supposed to be really nice. And I wanna try, I think my next one's gonna be Ariana Grande Cloud just because like, no one needs to be buying expensive perfumes during lockdown. Like you're lit, no one's, like you are smelling yourself and that's it, do that kind of way. Also I was really into body sprays for a minute, but all my body sprays are gone now. Don't just to like spritz, I kind of spray this on myself sometimes. 
because I feel like it calms me. Um, but yeah, that's my random, totally random, out of the blue perfume chat. And now I'm going to go on the hunt, literal hunt. I hope I, I will find out, I will find out. It's waiting for me, I will find out. Sorry, I'm reading a Law of Attraction, a Law of Attraction book. I'll talk about that later, I can't talk about that now. Um, but yeah, so we are out here attracting, manifesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and buy yeast for my baking video because I'm filming my baking video today and I'm making Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm finished filming my baking video and lads, I'm actually obsessed. Like, Ben, what do you think of the donuts? Honest opinion. Ben? I text ties Ben? What did you think? Um, Reckless. Ben said 10 out of 10. They literally taste like Krispy Kremes. Like, I was shook. I'll tag the video in the description. But this is them. I've had like three and I'm so full. Well, I actually ate Krispy Kremes. Oh, mom's putting in her input into the I review. I think they were actually nicer. Mom thinks they're nicer. So, does she think they're nicer than Krispy Kreme because she's my mother? Or because she's telling the truth. I will yeah. never know, but I'm actually buzzing with myself. Absolutely yeah. buzzing, so probably won't be having dinner tonight. Why do I look blue? I'll tag the video down below if you haven't seen it already. My camera died earlier when I was in the middle of filming, so that was rude. But I have to show you something, cause remember how, sorry, excuse. What's going on with my hair? Like I just washed it. I just did my nighttime skincare, fresh hair. Honestly, my shampoo, the Bumble and Bumble Creme de Coco shampoo, honestly smells phenomenal. But guess what I bought today, lads? And I thought we could do a fun unboxing. Now my room's quite dark and I'm not getting my ring light, so sorry, not sorry. So remember how last night I was complaining about the lack of scented candles in my life? And I looked online last night and I just couldn't find any that were like, had good reviews and were brands that I had heard of and were like not 30 euro, you know? Like, I'm not spending 30 euro on a candle. Would I spend it on a Bath and Body Works one? Probably, but that's not the point. So I got this, let's right. And I think I've honestly hit a new low in my life. I bought a Glade candle. You know Glade, like the full on like room air freshener brand that like cleans your toilet or whatever, hold on. Like Glade, like a Glade candle, can we cope? So this one says it's romantic vanilla blossom and it also says it's infused with essential oils. Now it actually doesn't say anywhere on the packaging at all what essential oils these are. Um, also, like there's no real ingredients list. Um, and also it's a Glade candle, but you know what? Look, we're, we're just making do with what we have. It was six euro and like, right? This one was six euro, okay? And it is like a hundred and something grams. How many grams is this? 129 grams, right? Six euro. This one, which is by DW Home, is 434 grams and it was 10 euro. You wonder why I get all my candles in TK Mac. But it does smell nice, like I can't deny it doesn't smell nice. No, this is just a warning. Yeah, so on nowhere, like it says there's essential oils, but doesn't tell me what there is. That leads me to believe that the whole essential oils thing is a marketing ploy but I still bought it. So we're just gonna light this bad boy up and hopefully it gives my room a bit of a scent. There's a little bit left in this, so I might as well just use this as well. But I'm kinda tired now, so I think I'm gonna get my ass into bed and obviously get up again and blow out these candles. And um, tomorrow's full day of editing. Like, literally. I, I kind of live for it though. I love my little Saturday editing session. Like, get up, do Kiki's workout, have my breakfast, 
edit the baking video, get that ready to go, have a little break, have dinner, and then edit the weekly vlog. And to be honest, it's just a really nice creative day. Also, it's like nearly my birthday, which is so wild to me. It's not wild, but it's just, I'm such a birthday person. I'm like, what am I gonna do in my house in choir? Like, am I gonna vlog? Am I not gonna wanna touch the camera for the day? Like, do you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a really nice like morning routine, get up, do my exercise, like have a shower, do my hair, do my makeup, feel really glam kind of moment. Um, So that should be kind of fun. But yeah, I feel like this week I've done nothing. But I say that in every vlog and then like there's a shit ton of footage of me just chatting shit. But I do get a lot of messages from girls who like live by themselves during quarantine and they feel like they're just like, it keeps them company while they're like working or cooking or whatever. So shout out to you if you're living alone. Like part of me is like, I'd love to be living alone in my own cute little apartment. Like I have, I actually need to put on my, my manifestation board or like start manifesting it. I've always wanted to live in like a beautiful apartment with like massive windows in like California or something. Like by myself, like with a dog. I've always wanted to do it. Like always, always. I should probably get going on that whole dream situation. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Good morning, how are we all? Happy Saturday. I am just waiting. So Kiki's workout is on 11. So we know we're starting the day with a morning workout. Just having my morning monster. But yeah, hello, hi, good morning. Good morning, happy Saturday. It's Sunday for you, but you know what, you know what I mean. But yeah, so today is POA plan of action. Big plan of the day is to do my workout now. In 20 minutes. <laughs> Kiki is killing me. I'm on a break in Kiki's workout. And this is the toughest one yet. I'm in bed. Oh my, like, dripping sweat. Like, dripping. But I'm just getting ready to edit, but I kind of want to show you my little routine before I edit. Um, just because Saturday is a full day of editing for me. So number one, we want to keep the vibrations high, the good energy going. We want to have a clean workspace. I'm going to have a shower because I just worked out and I'm going to set up my editing station. So step one is clean this holy mess, like holy, holy mess, um, like holy mess. So step one is clean my room and I'm drinking. I've been obsessed with this recently. Really random one, but iced green tea. I really like it as opposed to warm green tea. I'm more of a cold drinks kind of gal. And then we're gonna head in for a shower. Yeah, I just thought I would show you um, for any other like people, like even if you're working from home, I feel like this could help or like anyone who is a creative and has to work from home and has to get into the zone. So I'm gonna kind of share what I do before I get into the zone. So I've just worked out and now step one is clean my space because when you're working in a clean space, your mind is like more efficient. While I clean, I'm going to listen to, I'm gonna show you now. So I don't listen to a playlist while I'm cleaning. I listen to like a podcast or a book or something. So I'm listening to a book on Audible. No, this video is not sponsored by Audible. Someday it will be, just not today. So here we go. This is the book that I'm listening to while I'm cleaning, again, raising my vibrations. So this is called Super Attractor by Gabrielle Bernstein. If you don't know, now you know, if you're into like spiritual and spirituality, law of attraction, manifestation, anything, I definitely recommend this book. I'm more or less halfway through it, just over halfway. So I'm gonna play this and we're gonna clean this absolute tip of an excuse of a bedroom. My room, I just gave it a quick clean. So put on a duvet cover, um, dress my bed, put out my editing outfit. <laughs> 
these are just things that help me, okay? So put out my editing outfit, which is obviously cozy clothes. Uh, clean the floor, got my towel and everything ready for my shower, because I'm about to shower now. Uh, clean the bathroom and set up my workspace. So what I did is I put my laptop there, I have my wire that I need for my camera, my charger, my laptop's also plugged into the charger. I just kind of organized all the skincare makeup so it's not cluttered. My green tea, my water, hair bubble, uh, self-explanatory really, and the sun is coming out. I'm still listening to the book, which is great. Fresh out of the shower, so now it is time for some skincare. So I'm doing obviously my like morning skincare routine. So what I will be using is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant first, then the uh, Ordinary Squalene Cleanser, and then like my serums and stuff. I'm running low on serums, but I have more coming. But yeah, so we make sure our skin feels nice before we start editing. Great, so I'm dressed, I'm showered, I'm nearly ready to go. I'm just done, gonna mm. ice green tea, lads. That's the vibe. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to set the mood. So, candle is lighting, mood is set. So, now I'm just gonna put on some skincare. So, I'm actually nearly out of like all of my serums. Like, how did this happen? But I'm just using the Good Molecules Daily Brightening Serum. Um, so serum first, should we bring it down the neck? This is a really weird, badly lit angle. Um, serum, and then we do eye serum. So this is the same eye serum I use every day. I love this one. This is the Dermalogica um, Biolumin C eye serum. And I love it because it's nice and light, but I feel like it definitely Brightens up my eyes. My camera is flashing, low battery, great. And then I'm just gonna use, I'm not gonna show you because my camera's gonna die, but I'm gonna use my two moisturizers. So I have the smoothing moisturizer and the SPF. And now we are ready to edit. So I'll probably talk to you later when I'm finished editing the first video and we'll see how I go. So one of my videos is edited and I just posted it. So I posted my Krispy Kreme video. And do you know what? I hate keeping secrets because I was so excited about this, but I didn't want to say it. But I've got so many messages from people being like, You what? You made what? So I hope some of you definitely enjoy baking them. Again, if you haven't seen it, I will link it in the bio. But now I'm just on my editing break, so I'm trying to decide what I want for dinner. It's six o'clock now, so I finished editing the first video. It didn't take me too long. I think I finished editing around half three, four o'clock, and now it is half six. So I posted that video at six. So I think I'm gonna take a little break for another hour just to like refuel my creative juices, I guess. Saturday night, and I like the way you move. Just dancing by myself in my bedroom. Um, it's about to be Taurus season. Taurus season starts tomorrow and I'm thriving. Uh, basically what that means is anyone born from tomorrow on is a Taurus until the 20th of May and Taurus season is the best. Don't get it confused. So I'm thriving. Um, it's Saturday night and I was just chilling downstairs to be honest with my family for a while so I don't really do that often. So I was doing that, having dinner, chatting, chilling and I still haven't edited this weekly vlog which is just amazing. Like what time is it? Like 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna go and edit this now. So hopefully I will have it done by like 2 a.m. And then I'll have to wake up at 10 a.m. Because yeah, if I get it done at 2 a.m. and then like try to go to sleep really, really quickly, even though I don't think much happened this week, so maybe it'll be quick to edit. Because my last two vlogs have been monsters. Like movie short feature films. So maybe this one will be shorter and maybe that's what we all deserve. I hope you all enjoyed this week's vlog. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Next week is my birthday. So it's gonna be like a birthday vlog, like a birthday week. My birthday week starts on tomorrow. 
tour season birthday week i won't be vlogging tomorrow though but i will vlog about my birthday and stuff so i'm excited for that i hope you have a lovely sunday i hope you have a lovely week i hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog thanks a million for all your support and comments and likes on the vlogs um we hit 1500 subscribers this week which is exciting it's a cute little mini minds milestone thank you so much for watching guys i really do hope you enjoyed the vlogs i don't know what happened this week i can't remember was it much don't know did i find it do you know what actually update on the glade vanilla scented candle it actually smells fab it's not bad it will do for now so yeah i'm gonna go edit this vlog because it's 11 p.m and uh don't want to be up all night thank you so much for watching this week's vlog guys I will see you on Wednesday will be my next upload, which is my birthday, birthday upload. Love that for me. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.